Okay, so I tried a little experiment here. I installed a pressure regulator as well as a new pump and motor with the overflow valve installed this time on this one. It ran all the piping like it says in the manual. Um, the only thing that's different with mine is I put a regulator valve on here and I have a different um, hydraulic valve here. So I can't run the hard line that they supplied to the other valve. This is a five valve. A lot nicer one than what I got with the kit. Um, but everything's hooked up well. I put some clear tubing on all the return stuff here so we can see and the pressure regulator to see um, what's going on. I like to kind of see the oil as far as, you know, bubbles, color, make sure it's going the right direction without having to take anything apart. So it's always good if you can get a clear tubing in somewhat, usually on the return of the hydraulic system. Um, so let me show you guys what I got it to. Let me put the phone down for a second and plug it in. Okay, so I'm all powered up. Um, I'm running the motor at only 20%. But you're gonna see, one thing I noticed with a lot of people on this excavator is they're mixing channels. So they have the pump only coming on when they are requesting oil from the valve on any one of the cylinder functions. Um, every excavator I've always had or loader or any hydraulic system has always been flowing constantly once you turn it on and then, you know, directing the, the hydraulic fluid and whichever function you want it to go into. Um, maybe this pump works better with mixing function, but it would be nice if they could do both. So let me show you what I got going on. Um, I'm going to turn it on right now. So you can hear it has pressure. It's building. You can see the motor is working. So you can see we're at one basically. And if I do a function with the cylinder, right, I'm only going up to two. So it's not spiking. Which is nice. We actually got good smooth movement. Um, so actually it's running great except for the fact that I have pressure right now. Because this motor is going to start getting hot really quickly. Um, and that's a huge problem. So it's fixed but it's not, I would say. Just for the time I was running it, I can put my hand on it, I can already feel it's getting warm. Not as bad, nowhere near as bad as the other time because it was running at high pressure all the time. And when we used a function like on RC Sparks video, it would spike way over the meter. So I got it to a better point, but that's still not how we would like it to run. I think the only best bet at this point um, until Lezu issues a new pump or whatever they're going to do to fix the problem is to get just a different pump set up. Because I already have a different valve. And everything else is basically universal. I mean, cooling unit's not going to really do too much. Tank's all the same. It, it's, it's this. It's causing the problem. I've even ran excavators. Um, my first excavator was a Faro. And it didn't even have a pressure regulator valve anywhere on the system. Which is a plus and a minus. I think it's a plus and a minus. You get your you know, most power of the machine all the time. Um, downside is you can blow lines. You can, you're working the motor a lot more if you don't know your 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 limits of your, of your cylinders, basically. You're not slamming them up and down. And, um, you know when you're digging that when you're having a tough time that the motor is working at full potential, so don't go any harder, you know what I mean? So, but anyway, getting off topic. Uh, so we're a little closer, but not quite there. 
I thought I'd share with you guys so you can see. Uh, thank you for watching.